Miss Williams, congratulations. You're five weeks pregnant. No, I can't. Who's going to take care of this child and all the pills I've been taking? I don't even know if I'll survive to give birth. Do you have any questions, Mrs. Williams? <sighs> Doctor, I'm afraid I'm going to have to terminate. Are you okay? Hi. The doctor just said I need more of your biscuits. No problem. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Look, Austin, I need to go home now. Can you make it back to the orphanage by yourself? Given your health condition, I suggest you discuss with your husband whether you're keeping the baby. I don't even know if I'll survive to give birth. Williams? Yes. Come with me. We have to go over the procedure. Oh, Mr. Williams, you're awake. I was so scared in the ambulance, and Mrs. Williams would not stop crying. Can you please just keep it down? Sorry, Mr. Williams. <clears throat> what do you have for me? According to what we found, Miss Davis got to know a thug called Travis Adrian a couple years ago, and they've been in contact ever since. That's him. Miss Davis and this Travis Adrian seem to have had a uh, physical relationship. Apart from that, she might not be the person who saved you six years ago. What are you talking about? The surveillance footage only caught the person from behind, but if you ask me, that looks a lot like Mrs. Williams. No, no, that can't be possible. When I opened my eyes, the only person that I saw was Andre. Well, that's just what I think. What else do you have for me? Who's this? Mrs. Williams has been visiting an orphanage recently. We did a little digging, and it turns out she used to live there for a few years when she was little. No, no, not that. Who's this? Right here. We think that's Damon Williams, sir. The adopted son your parents lost 15 years ago. He had a brain injury on accident and was sent to an orphanage. He's still alive? <laughs> Fifteen years ago, I was kidnapped. Damon changed into my clothes to help me escape. In the end, I was saved. And he disappeared. When did you wake up? Just a while ago. 
Where have you been lately? Now, why would you care? You have a girlfriend. You should at least tell my secretary. The attacker's still out there, and we don't know who it is. I've paid off my father's debts, and besides your jealous girlfriend, I can't think of anybody who wants me dead. Here you are, Addie. I've been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing here? Well, you haven't been back in a couple of days, and, uh, well, the dean told me where you are. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a private room. You're not supposed to be in here. Austin, is there something you'd like to tell me? You look tired. <laughs> Let me take care of you. I can cook. Thank you. Madison. Madison, are you kidding me? Did you just go off and get yourself another man? Austin, thank you for this, but... You should probably go. The dean's going to get worried. No, Addie, I, I want to stay here with you. Addie, hey, what kind of name is that? Can you get this guy out of here or am I going to have to call security? Hunter, please be quiet. This is a hospital, not your goddamn house. And don't yell at him. He doesn't understand. Yeah. Austin, promise me you'll go back after lunch or else I can't keep your gift. Well, I'm hungry. Here, Addie, try this. I cut it myself. How did Madison get to know Damon? Oh. Who's calling you? But remember, you never trust Hunter Williams. Um, it's unknown. It's probably just insurance. Austin. Thank you for coming today, but the dean just asked if you were with me. You should probably go. You don't want to keep him waiting. Okay. I'll see you next time. Okay. Finally. You know, I'm going to have to change hospitals to get a decent bit of rest around here. Are you almost done with lunch? I'm going to go home. You're going to go home? Or are you just going to go mess around with that guy? Hunter, don't think everybody's like you. Okay, I, I'm tired and I just want to go take a nap. Well, aren't you supposed to stay here and take care of me? You still are my wife, aren't you? I'm just doing what's on the agreement, honey. You know the truth about my father's death. Come to the hospital parking lot if you want to know what happened to your father. I won't be waiting long. Sir, she was kidnapped by some guys in a van. I just found out when I checked the security footage. What did you just say? I saw one of the kidnappers. It was Travis Adrian. Well, get me a car, now! Oh, Bill. Okay. 